Coach, what's been the mood around the Syracuse program this offseason? I think everybody's anxious to see where we can go. We had a, you know, we had a big win and we had a couple of close losses and we want to see if we can change those close losses into some close wins and maybe come up and, 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 and get a big win somewhere. We got a lot to prove. Always playing with a chip on our shoulder. Um, that's the way I've always gone about things in my life. So I think that's rubbing off on the other guys and they see that and they, they're just hungry. We learned that playing close isn't good enough and not to be satisfied with that stuff and not to settle just playing a good game and having people tell you that you were in it. You know, you're in it to win it. Let's see if we can win some of them. Now you have a grizzled veteran at quarterback, Eric Dungy. How much does that help out? I think that his experience of playing against some of the people that he's played against and his leadership skills, I think if we can find a way to keep him for an entire year, we'll be better off than playing without him. Year three under Coach Babers. The offense, we know he likes to go fast. How do you feel about the development of the offense and have you guys finally grasped what he wants you to do? He's always going to say that we're not fast enough and uh, you know, that's kind of the motto that we've always had and the mindset I've always had is we got to go faster and faster and faster because um, that's only going to you know, be better for the, be uh, for the rest of us. But other than that, um, I'm looking forward to the season. I think we got a lot of youth coming up that's going to make plays and we got a lot of veterans who are going to be able to bring that youth up. Defensively, what have you seen from that group? We are super, super deep on the D-line, deeper than we've ever been since we've been there. The back end is very, very talented. They're young, but they're talented. And then we're inexperienced at, at, the, at the linebacker position. We gotta have those guys grow up really, really fast. You're in your third season. What do you feel about the Syracuse program as a whole as far as the culture? How do you feel about where you guys are at today? Uh, we have two classes of the previous regi regime still with us. Eric being part of that class. So in two years, they'll all be guys that we've recruited. And I think that in one year, we'll probably be exactly where we want as far as the depth chart goes and how many guys that we brought into the program that really fit what we're trying to do on offensive defense. What does this team have to do, you feel like, to really compete in the ACC Atlantic? Getting enough turnovers on defense, didn't score enough points on offense, wasn't affected enough in the red zone. I think if we can work out some of the kinks, I think that, and with the personnel that we're recruiting, I think that is going to happen. But I think that's the key for us to be, doing, be better in the ACC, and especially the ACC Atlantic, which is really tough. So what's the sense of urgency around the program for this team to get on the winning track and get to a bowl game? I do think everybody's focused. I do think everybody's locked in. And I think they're willing to be flexible enough that we can move the pieces and put the chips together where we can put a good starting 22 and a solid 38 guys on the football field. There's been a huge sense of urgency. Um, you know, I hate losing. I, I just hate it. I have to win. I want to do everything I can do to win. Um, so that's really my only mindset. Um, you know, people go say, oh, you try to make a bowl game. I mean, how are you going to try to get six wins? I mean, you got to win every game. That's what I go and thinking. How are you going to go into a game expecting to lose? You can't do that. Um, so that's kind of been my mindset is just try to win every game, but you got to take it week by week. You can't get ahead of yourselves. So.